Hello and welcome to Arbo Sacred Site in County Tyrone. Arbo, the height of the cow, is associated with the legend of the cow who helped to build the abbey. Today we're visiting Arbo across in St Colman's Abbey. St Colman established this abbey in 590 AD. Very little is known about him today. His feast day is the 21st of February. Here we see the first view of the cross itself. It's very one of the finest in Ireland. It stands over 20 feet tall and is engraved with scenes from the Old and the New Testament in the Bible. At the top of the cross here you can see some damage which was caused during a storm in the 1800s when part of the cross fell. And now we're seeing a close-up version of the carvings on the cross and these would have been important to tell the story of Christianity at a time when people were unable to read. And now we're in the graveyard. Um, at the bottom of this graveyard is what's known as a pin tree, where people put a pin or a coin into a tree and it was believed that it would remove um, their ailments which would remain with the tree. Also note the headstones which are all facing east, the feet face east, in accordance with Christian and pagan uh, ritual for people being buried with feet facing east. And here we have the first view of the abbey itself. This is the structure that replaces the earlier wooden one. Now inside the abbey, you can see from the inside, there's also graves here, but you begin to see the first view of the abbey windows which overlook the lock shore. Looking out now from the abbey over Loch Ney, uh, Loch Ney has its own myths and legends. It has its own healing properties. Fairies are believed to live under the water. This is a very beautiful and ancient healing site. I hope you've enjoyed this quick snapshot of our bow, its history, its legends and its energies. This place is well worth a visit. For more information, have a look at my website.